Today on the Cardinal Sports Network, your Lawrence Cardinals will be taking on the Willingboro Chimeras in Varsity Wrestling. Earlier today, Lawrence was victorious over Notre Dame. Now they're looking to do the same thing with Willingboro. Now we join the 126 pound weight class. This match has just started. We've got Stephen Ham wrestling for Lawrence in the gray outfit and Fahad Urshad in the blue for Willingboro. I should mention that earlier, uh, Ryan Edwards from Lawrence won the 120 pound weight class by forfeit. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. Now the wrestlers returning to the center of the mat for our 126 pound class. Staying put around the center as Urshad diving low and faking. Now they'll lock together. And him brings Urshad down for a two point takedown. And that quickly, Ham is going to get the win. So Stephen Ham wins by a pin with a time of one minute and five seconds over Fahad Urshad. That will bring us to the 132 pound weight class. Wrestling for Lawrence will be Safal Maharajan. And wrestling for Willingboro is going to be Stephen Goldsmith. And wrestling begins. And it's going to be Goldsmith going in looking for a takedown, but Maharjan brings him down instead. That's two point takedown for Maharjan. Goldsmith rolls out, but unable to break free. Maharjan has him locked down pretty good. Now Maharjan trying to roll Goldsmith over. And there it is as Hafal Maharjan will win by a pin in a time of 57 seconds over Stephen Goldsmith. Moving right along, we'll go to the 138 pound weight class. Looking for Nick Sutter for Lawrence. And Sutter's going to win by a forfeit. That will take us to the 144 pound weight class. Tyler Cordikins will also win by a forfeit. Now the 150 pound weight class, McKaylee Thompson also wins by a forfeit. Now on to the 157 pound weight class. Kadir Denson Pitts will be wrestling for Lawrence. He'll be going up against Fred Capali. There's Pitts out on the mat and Capali joins him. Wrestlers locked together. They'll break free and try once more. There in, in goes Kapali looking for a takedown, but Pitts is going to turn the tables on him and Pitts will get the two point takedown. Come here. Come here. Come here. 
Hits in control, but Kapali going to get up to his knees. And there's going to be a point awarded to Kapali for the hold that Pitts had. They'll resume wrestling in the center of the mat with Pitts still on top. Pitts brings Kapali right back down to the mat. Now Pitts trying to roll Kapali over. Kapali not obliging. So Pitts will reposition, try and find another way of getting Kapali over on his back. Now, Kapali trying to get to his feet. And he's going to be brought back down and put into a pinning position by Pitts. Pitts looking for the pin. Kapali hanging tough. Referee not calling this a pin yet. And Pitts is going to try again, but Kapali is going to be saved by the buzzer. Points awarded to Pitts for the near pin. Pitts now leading five to one over Kapali. Both wrestlers starting from a standing position for the second bout. Kapali goes in looking for the takedown. Pitts. Looks like he's going to once again turn the tables on Kapali. So far, no points awarded. There's a two point takedown for Pitts. Now, Pitts rolling Kapali over. And Kapali is going to fight back and get his own reversal. Two point reversal awarded to Pitts as well. They'll move back over to the center of the mat without the help of the referee. Pitts now leading 11 to six. Kapali goes in once more looking for a leg. And it's going to be a two-point takedown for Kapali. Now Kapali trying to roll Pitts over for the pin. Pitts rolls out of it. Going to be a point awarded to Pitts for the escape. Not for the takedown, however. Now wrestling resumes. Pitts leading 12 to 10 over Kapali. Fifteen seconds left in this bout, and Kapali goes in looking for a leg. Pitts unable to capitalize that time. And he will get the takedown right before the buzzer sounds. So two more points for Pitts. For the third bout, Pitts will be starting on top. Pitts leading 14 to 10 over Kapali. Kapali unable to get the escape at the whistle. Now, Pitts trying to roll Kapali over, looking for that pin. Kapali 
holding steady. But now it looks like Pitts has the leverage. He's got Capali on his back. Capali fights back. But it's going to be Pitts. Pitts prevailing. Pitts looking for the pin. Capali squirms out of it again. Going to be points awarded for the near pin that time. Pitts now leading 19 to 10 over Capali. Coming up on the one minute mark in this match. Now Pitts gets the pin. So Kadir Denson Pitts is going to win by a pin in a time of five minutes and 19 seconds over Fred Capali. It's going to bring us to the 165 pound weight class. Here comes James Lyons. And Lyons is going to win by a forfeit. That'll to move us to the 175 pound weight class with Omar Ibrahim wrestling for Lawrence. Here comes Ibrahim, and he's going to win by a forfeit. He seemed very happy about that. That'll bring us to the 190 pound weight class. Wrestling for Lawrence is Noel Ferrardo. He's going up against Nassim Hawk from the Chimeras. And wrestling begins. Two wrestlers searching for dominance here. So far, no advantage being shown. Now there's a takedown by Ferrardo. Ferrardo, he's got Hawk on his back. Hawk manages to roll back over, but Ferrardo is still in control. And Ferrado's gonna roll Hawk on his back once more. Hawk looking to make a reversal, but Ferrado able to maintain control. Slim points advantage right now, two to zero. Ferrado leaving, leading. Now Ferrado is gonna drag Hawk back over on his back. Ferrardo trying to work toward a pin. And he's got Hawk on his back. And that will do it as Noel Ferrardo is going to win by a pin in a time of 1 minute and 56 seconds. That will bring us to the 215 pound weight class. Samuel Moffat wrestling for Lawrence. He'll be going against Tristan Hamilton from Willingboro. Okay, Hamilton's done checking in at the scorer's table, so we'll get into wrestling. Wrestlers locked together. Now they'll break free and go at it again. Moffat reaches in, 
for an ankle, the size better of it. Tried once more there. Pushes Hamilton away, and they'll go back at it once more. Still no clear advantage here. And it's going to be Moffat going in for a takedown, and he's going after the pin already. Moffitt has Hamilton on his back looking for a pin. Referee says not yet. And there's the whistle as Samuel Moffitt will be declared the winner by a pin in a time of one minute and 55 seconds over Tristan Hamilton. That's one second faster than Noel Ferrardo was able to pin his opponent. That will bring us to the heaviest class of the day, the 285-pound weight class. Nick Sfera wrestling for Lawrence. And Sfera is going to be declared the winner by a forfeit. That will move us around to the lightweights as the 106-pound weight class with Saren Siva. Siva's going to win by a forfeit. And in 113, Mazen Shuha is going to win by a forfeit. That will do it for the match today as your Lawrence Cardinals are victorious over the Willingboro Chimeras with a score of 84 to zero. Cardinals scoring a perfect score this game. That's two meets and two wins in one day for the Cardinal wrestling team. Thank you to Leandro Pascal for working camera for this event, and thank you all for watching. Be sure to tune in again next time for more Cardinal Sports action on LTPS-TV.